everyone, welcome to your channel. I apologize, I know it's been a long time since the last time I've uploaded a video. It's just like, it's a crazy month for us trying to look for the right insurance provider for our company. But sad to say, until now, we're still waiting for it. But anyhow, that's another story. What I have here for you right now is a really good option to have as a travel stroller. And also, it can be a travel system. This stroller has been in the market for quite a while now and has been really rated high as a travel stroller, but some of the moms complain about the fold of this stroller. The reason is, for some, it is cumbersome because it has a three steps, but once you get the hang of it, it's easy for you to do it. So I'm gonna show you first how to fold it with the seat attached and we're gonna remove the seat and flip it backwards, parent facing, and then remove it all together and convert this into a travel system. So let's get started. First things first, it's clearly marked how you're gonna do it. First, you need to press the button that says one and press the number two and then fold the handles forward. Then next, squeeze the tab in the back that says recline and push it forward. And in the back side, I'm gonna twist this around so you guys can see. Over here, you need to pull this down and push it forward. It's really easy if you have a couple of tries of folding this one, like twice or thrice, you'll be able to fold this. And it comes with a buckle for you to attach and make it more compact, but I'm not gonna do that right now because I'm going to show you first the features of the stroller. Okay, so now unfolding the stroller is also very easy. You have to open wide the back part of the seat, and you can you have the options of pulling it outwards too, and then flipping out the seat and push number one and then number two and pull back the handlebar. So that's how you are going to unfold this stroller. It's really easy. I don't know why most of the complaint is the folding part because I don't find it really cumbersome. So now the canopy of the stroller. It has a two panel canopy and a flip out sun visor as well. And although it doesn't have a peekaboo window, what it has is this transparent thing over here that has a mesh, but unfortunately the mesh part of it doesn't do any justice because the back part of the mesh has a plastic behind it. So there's no airflow that goes into the seat. So I hope they're gonna change that in the next model of this stroller. And recline, forward, forward facing seat, there is three positions in this stroller. First one is this, second one is I think the relax mode, and then the third one is the most laid flat. Now with Queenie, it says in their website that you can use this from six months to toddler years of your child, but you can actually use this from newborn using a car zip or an inlay, which is their version of their baby insert. As far as I'm concerned, you don't really need to purchase an inlay with this one, but you can use the normal ba baby inserts that you can find in Baby Saras or any baby store that you have locally. So you could just have put and prop your newborn in this stroller, especially with this position and angle of the stroller. I think this is good for babies who have reflux because it's not completely flat. As I said, this stroller has a reversible seat. So now we're gonna do that. So how we do it? First, you're gonna squeeze this recline tab. There and is a small lever next to it that you need to push outwards and pull the seat up. The seat is out now. What we need to do is the same thing when we attach the seat. Just squeeze the lever in the back and realign the seat to the adapter and push it down so it will clip into its place. Attach it though with the parent facing mode, there is only two positions of the recline the relaxed position, which is like what it is right now, and the sleep position, which is a bit lower, like a lay, almost lay flat position. This doesn't come with a foot rest, but it has this area over here that they can rest their legs on top. So what we're going to do next is remove the seat out of the chassis and insert the Maxi Cozy car seat that we have over here. So first, I'm gonna remove it completely and I'll show you that there is also another adapter that is currently attached and with that comes with, the, with this stroller itself that we need to remove so we can attach the adapters for the car seat. I'm going to push again the lever and then pull out the seat completely. And over here, I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but there's this tab, gray tab that you need to pull outwards and the other one too. And then just pull up this tiny little circle adapters for the main seat of these strollers. Now I have the 
adapters it comes free with the purchase of the stroller for the maxi cozy car seats so you only need to do is pair it with the right side of the stroller so this one is R because it's facing me it's actually in my left but it's actually in the right side this one now I'm gonna grab what I have here is the maxi cozy AP 2.0 which is compatible with the strollers and align it with the adapters just like how you do it in your car seat. And once it clicks in, that means it's already attached. But just to make sure that it's really securely attached, just try and test it with the car seat's handlebar and pull it up just a little bit, just to make sure. So now that it's attached, you can see that you can access quite easily the things that you put in this basket. And by the way, the basket of this stroller is not that huge, but it's not that small either. It's in the medium size. You can put a medium diaper bag and a little bit, a little bit of changing pad in this one. But there's one thing that I want to tell everyone out there, moms that like me, wants to take everything all at once from the car towards the house. I know the feeling that you just wanted to do it and haul it up all at once, but with this stroller, you cannot do that. You cannot hang anything that wastes a ton in this handlebar because it has a tendency to flip over there you go you will see that it's actually raising the wheels right away like you're popping it up in a curve so what i would suggest if you really want to hang things hang it on the side of the frame and not too much please because as i said the frame is not designed for that and this is a stroller to carry your baby not your purchases and this part of the stroller you cannot hang any organizer or caddy over here as well because this folds into the stroller when you fold the stroller so if you want to have a sippy cup probably you can attach a sippy cup over here that you can purchase separately or you can just use those sippy cup attachments that are like velcroed in that you can find probably in amazon so this is how the travel system looks like with the maxi cozy ap and the chassis of the queenie zap it's really practical because it has a small footprint especially if you if you lack space in your place and also it is like that you're not burdened by taking this in and out of your trunk so now i'm going to remove it how you're going to remove the car seat from the chassis is the same as how you remove your car seat from its base just push the buttons on the side of the car seat and I'm going to remove the adapters, which is easy as well. There is, it has a lever inside it and you just have to push down and then pull up. That's how you're going to remove the adapters. And I'm going to attach back the seat adapters into its place. It also has a marking so you will not put it in the wrong place. Now I'm going to attach it back. There you go. Now let's move on to this uh, to the wheels of the strollers. The wheels of the strollers are non-punctured wheels. I think they are about seven or eight inches, and it has a swivel up in the front. And the brake of this stroller, second of the complaints that I've read online about this stroller, is the brake. The brake of the stroller, they say it's hard to engage or disengage or hard to find but actually it is easy the right side is for you to lock the brake which has a red color and the other side is just plain black and you just have to press it down the brakes disengages so it weighs 19 pounds with the seat 13.2 i guess with uh with just the chassis itself it's really good as a travel stroller and it's also a good travel system because it's very light pairing it with the maxi cozy the accessories for this stroller it has a cup holder and it has a rain cover sold separately it used to be free the rain cover with this but unfortunately in newer models they don't include it anymore but they still include t adapters that's it for today i hope you guys like this video and i will be doing the cymex Bylus m as well after this one which is a good option for an all-terrain full stroller that is compact and not that heavy in its category. So we'll see you in our next video. Bye.